What's up, YouTube? Erod212 here with another video. So it's that time, time for the back nine. What are we going to talk about today? Marvel monsters and horror books that are modern keys. All right, so like I said, let's take a look this time at a great topic with everything that happened with Werewolf by Night and how great it was. Uh, let's look at some more modern monster or horror keys that you guys should be looking at. Uh, but before we start that, big shout out to Ben from CBSI for letting me put up this information. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. Go check out CBSI, one of the best websites out there. And also big shout out to my man Phil from Vintage Comics and Toys. Um, for putting all this information together. Matter of fact, um, speaking about Phil and Vintage Comics and Toys, um, if you go on the Vintage Comics and Toys website, um, you can purchase a copy of the Vanish Number no. 1, and it's their Raiden uh, variant. It's got the Nintendo 64 slipcover. Uh, it, it's a badass book. Beautiful, beautiful copy book. Um, it's a two-book set I believe he has there. But we're going to be giving one of these away today, too, courtesy of Vintage Comics and Toys. So make sure you leave a comment, hit the like button, and be subscribed to this channel. And uh, next week, we'll pick a winner who will get this great, great copy of Vanish Number 1 by Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman. Um, it's got the uh, foil for Nintendo 64 type of look. I'll uh, show you guys what it's like. I don't want to take this. There we go. It's a slip case right there, the self acetate slip case, and then you have the full cover there. Actually, a pretty cool concept. I like that a lot. So shout out to Vintage Comics and Toys and Phil for providing this uh, as a giveaway for everybody here. All right. So this week, like I said, horror, I think it's a good topic. If you guys saw that, uh, I thought it was excellent. Just some of the portrayals. Think, and, and now they were announcing that Marvel's talking about possibly doing um, Nova in the same format. So we're talking a 45 minutes to an hour long movie. You don't need six episodes of 30 to 35 minutes when you get fluff in them that you don't really want to put in there. Just get to the content, put out a great movie. And that could lead to so much because if you watch it, Elsa Bloodstone is still available. Swamp uh, Man Thing is available. You know, there's a whole bunch of things. You know, Jack Russell. Well, they never say Russell. They just call him Jack. Hmm. That made me think a little bit there, too. But you know what? Let's take a look at what the guys say here. Let's see what Phil has to say about this right now. Um, <laughs> so Phil goes, one category with upside is modern monsters and horror comics. The Werewolf by Night special was received well, and many think we could be getting the Midnight Suns and other horror characters to form the team. Because the Midnight Suns special pre presentation took because the special presentation, excuse me, took place in another timeline. There are a lot of possibilities here to introduce different stories without having to weave them into the current MCU canon. This gives more freedom when it comes to in time to introduce new characters and plot lines. And, and I like that that that's a great great analogy there. It's true. Uh, by it not being in the six one six. You can bring in and out characters that haven't been brought before in, in a different context. So Van Demby is going to go with Darkhold number one. And this is the first Victoria Montesi. This has the first Victoria Montesi. She will be coming back in the next Blade storyline. I like the newsstand copies as they can be had for a little more than a song. And sold copies have been under $10 across the board. I believe this is a polybagged issue also. So take a look at this. Um, but yeah, these newsstands, you do find them out there. I actually found the Midnight Suns 28 in the polybag newsstand, uh, recently. And that was a nice little score. Uh, Stein goes with a killer. Uh, right now this book is fantastic. This is Bloodstone number one. This is the first Elsa Bloodstone. Nobody snatched Bloodstone number one. If they do her justice, she could have universal mainstream appeal like Laura Croft. It is risk reward though. If you really think about it, how many female action franchises are out there? Even Black Widow only got one feature film. Um, will Elsa be in something else? I think so. Will she be part of the Midnight Suns or something across there? That I don't know, but I, I do like that. I also want to see uh, Elsa eventually with like the red hair. I think that would be cool. Uh, Jack Cornblack goes with the Kirby Monster variant set speculation. I'm going to cheat a little and go with the Kirby Monster variants. 
In 2015, Marvel released 29 different variants across their books, celebrating the many different monsters Kirby created for Marvel during the Golden and Early Silver Age. Their first appearances for nearly all of these characters are widely expensive and beyond the reach of the vast majority of investors. That means that wishing to cash in will need to be will need to find alternatives like these variants. Most of these books can be found for pretty cheap in back issue bins and have a ton of potential as Marvel expands monster and horror corners of the MCU. There's some great covers to this too. I mean, if you, they're taking some of the old iconic monsters that Kirby created, because remember, all, all Tales to Astonish and all those other books were uh, amazing fantasy. You know, uh, were bringing horror stories because that's what the big genre was in in the fifties. So uh, stuff to look at because these are nice recreations. Because those other, especially the Golden Age stuff, is just beyond my reach at least. Uh, Topher goes with a sick ass book, and I just got this uh, gifted to me by my man Roman Curtis. Shout out to Roman Curtis. But X Men number one, the one in twenty five Jajervic variant, Dracula's new costume. This is a Dracula redesign cover. Sweet looking cover. It, this actually carries a little bit of a premium. Uh, it's a thicker square bound, uh, thicker book, not square bound, but it's one of those thicker stock books. So condition is a little sensitive, but this is a just great rendition of Dracula. I like this a lot. Uh, Topher goes with Franken Castle number 21. First meeting of Punisher and Bloodstone. Elsa Bloodstone meets the Punisher for the first time here, and they battle for the Bloodstone. Final issue to boot. See, I, a book I wasn't aware of. If you're looking at that cover, though, you've got Swamp Thing, Werewolf by Night, Morbius, uh, Dracula, that, that Frankenstein monster. Pretty sick. I might have to pick this, uh, pick this series up and something to read. This is a great cover. See, and this is what I'm talking about, Elsa Bloodstone with the red hair. I kind of like it. I like it better than the blonde. It fits her better. Uh, Ali goes with Monsters Unleashed number three. This is the Lee 1 in 25 cover speculation. Becoming the grail of the Bloodstone books might surpass and hold as the top Elsa Bloodstone comic when the dust settles. I think Bloodstone number one will be the book just because it's the first appearance and it's an iconic uh, older cover. But this, this is a close second. This is a badass cover right here. Tough to find, too. You don't find this in the wild. And then Ali goes with Man Thing number one. It's the first solo issue, origin classic cover, first title series of Man Thing. Affordable now to most people and can be had for under $200. Uh, great Bronze Age right here. Just be careful. Sensitive to uh, condition, sensitive with these books. You want to get it in high grade if possible. Um, a C list character that just, again, uh, this was Marvel Magic. It kind of reminded me when you saw Rocket and Groot, who were just. Second and third tier, third and fourth tier characters, and now uh, they become endearing to people. That's what happened there with my with man thing. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, Chris goes with Ravencroft number one, the one in twenty five brown cover speculation. Ravencroft is canon, but more importantly, there is an awesome man wolf modern variant. Sick cover, sick sick cover. Ravencroft actually was a pretty good series. Uh, Chris also goes with. Dead of Night featuring Werewolf by Night number four, cover speculation, and origin story. Always love this cover. Beautiful Japanese-style battle cover. The Dead of Night Max books could be gold, too. It's an origin story, too, with some nice gory panels in the interior. Um, I'm not a fan of the cover, but uh, definitely something to look at, especially if you got gore in it. That's, these Max books were good for the violence. Uh, yeah, if you can see, there were explicit content. So um, you could go a little further with these books than you could in the normal book. And Phil's going to go with Ghost Rider Fear Itself, number one, the first Alejandra Jones. Um, Alejand I feel like Alejandra Jones checks off a lot of boxes. It's a long spec. We definitely get Johnny Blaze, and uh, that should be Danny Ketch, first before we see her. The regular cover still has a decent floor, and I think you can get a copy for $25 or less. This is a book I pick up. Um, female Ghost Rider, female character in general, always do well. Um same thing with um, the female white tiger, another book that I'll pick up if I see it out there. Just good little, good little books that you never know what's going to happen. They could pick up, and this is a badass cover too to, to, to boot. So those are the picks from everybody on the crew. Uh, let me know what you guys think about them, and you know what? Let me show you my pick, and we'll discuss this one too. So I'm going to go with Werewolf by Night 
number one from 2020. It's the first appearance of new Werewolf by Night, Jake Gomez. And just hear me out. This new rendition of Werewolf by Night created by Taboo of the Black Eyed Peas gives a classic character a new beginning. During the Werewolf, Werewolf by Night series in Disney+, Plus, you hear the main character speaking in Spanish. Makes you go, hmm. And that was the thing with me, at least, um, when they were trapped in the cage and you heard him speak Spanish, I was like, wait a minute. Jack Russell didn't speak Spanish. Is this an amalgam of the two characters? Could it be Jake instead of Jack? And, you know, just a play on the name? Um, could be a possibility. Great read. Great spec book. There's a couple of variants to that cover that are really, really taking off. So some stuff that you guys should be checking out. And um, if you're in the area, um, Icon is coming. It's going to be an event. Similar to um, what King Kong is, but up in like the Fishkill area of New York. And you're going to have some crazy vendors like Very Gary. And uh, I think Street Side Anthony is there. But you've got Panther Comics there and Absolute Comics. And a whole bunch of vendors opening up a big show floor. There's going to be artists there. Um, I think there's going to be a, um, a CGC witness there. So, uh Bringing it to a whole different area that can't make it down to the King Kong area. I'm going to try and bring that vibe over up to you guys. So check that out. Uh, the date, I'll post it up here. And it uh, should be a really good show. But that's it for now. Appreciate you guys. Until the next one, peace.